So first signal at night, we've got this new sort of, it's just been taking this grass on this field so we can get quite uh, close to the ground. It's a button, it's got a little bit of decoration on I think, I don't want to give it a really big clean up, I'll just give it a quick wipe. There's a bit of a rim to it, it's quite a thick button, so I'll try and clean it up and see what it looks like. Well, found another coin ball. Layer on its edge, looks quite small. It looks a little bit bigger now I've opened it up. Take my glasses off. Looks like a hairpenny. I can get the back off. A modernish hairpenny. Oh dear. I can't really tell what who he is yet. But it's only a modernish one, so it's nothing spectacular. Well, I've got another signal. It appears to be silver in the side. There, pretty terrible pinpointing. Mm. Don't know what it. In fact, it feels aluminium. It's bloody French. Republic of Republic Francaise. <laughs> How the hell's a bloody French monkey metal coin got here? In a Yorkshire field. I thought it was a George the. Banana at first, it's not, it's bloody look at that. Right, big bang of a signal and um, something very green in here. We'll get it out and have a look. It looks bullet shaped, but it isn't. There looks to be some form of decorative work on the bottom and a hole through, like a beading stippled thing. And it's long, it's got holes in the side, one hole in one side, perhaps a hole in the other side too. Hole in the bottom. Well, I'd say a fair bit of decoration around there. So we'll tidy that up and see what it is. Well, found another coin ball or something. Doesn't look it. Doesn't look quite round though. Looks shiny. We'll see what it she is. Where's the impression? Something brass or copper. Give her a bit of a clean off. Don't forget. I don't believe that. <laughs> Wensleydale Creamery. That's just up ours, just up road from us. E gromit, a nice bit of Wensleydale. Can't get much more local than that. I thought it was something old. Hey. Right, big bang. I've excavated gently away around it. Looks spoon shaped. I'm just going to try and lift it up without wrecking it like I normally would do. It's a good old impression there. It's pretty green and it's pretty old. It's a fair shape, as I say, most of it's rotted away, but looks to be a fair old age of a spoon, more ladle-like. I don't know whether it's just bent or... Anyway, cool. Clean that up and get it back. Well, I just dug this big lump of lead up. I thought, oh, it's nothing, just a big flat lump of rubbish like you usually get. Turned it over, and to my surprise, look at the... how ornate that is, and it's lead. It's like a shield blooming, well not a shield, but it's some kind of fancy, fancy casting for a piece of flat lead at the back, so I'll have to do a bit of investigation with that one and get it uh, cleaned up and cause it looks quite brittle. I'm surprised I didn't manage to chop it in half, but that's very interesting so far. Right, we've just come out at Meadowland into pasture and a um, big belting bang on that. It's a buckle. Looks like... A horse buckle, it's had a bit of metal through the middle, not too fancy but it's alright. Right, can't get more than six foot without another signal. I thought this was the bottom of a light bulb to start off with. Screw fit in there, but then there's this amazingly thick chunk of glass in the middle, it almost looks like a lens, so perhaps could it be off binoculars, something like that? I don't, not quite sure, but anyway, it's just interesting stuff, whatever. Still a big thick bit of glass in the middle there. Clean it up and get on with more signals. Right, impeccable pinpointing again, it's right in the corner. I don't know what it is, I'm just going to try and lift it gently out. It's about the size of... It's probably not. It's a massive stud. <laughs> it's studded on the back. Oh well, it looked like a cartwheel penny then, I was getting well revved up, but due to the thickness, but 
Well, well, clearly open up. I think you said what? <laughs> Me. <laughs> right. We'll clean it up. Might be something when we get cleaned up. Right, we'll get on. Find some more. <laughs> well, I've got another signal and another buckle. Obviously not very old because it's still, well, it's still had its little uh, thingy, whatever you call them in it. So it's probably some kind of horse tack. And then a hole right next to it there. In what appears to be ashes, it appears to be a little lizard. You see his little face there, but it looks like it's in the ashes, so somebody's obviously had a fire and there's something been burnt in it. But it's a strange one, is that? 